What's up everyone? It's Alicia Toon. Welcome to Warriors of Wrestling's YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because they post a ton of incredible content all of the time. Until next time. The National Wrestling Alliance in its 74 year history has done more for wrestling across this country than maybe any promotion. Tonight it is here in Finbar for Warriors of Wrestling 200. This next stop will be for the National Wrestling Alliance World Women's Championship. This match is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first. Wow, Kimmy, no pun intended. 200 shows at Warriors, and what a monumental match we have here for the NWA World Women's Championship live here in Brooklyn. And what an opportunity for this young lady, Caitlin Alexis. Yes, Caitlin Alexis, she is new in the business. We've seen her a couple times on NWA, We've seen her in AEW Dark. These two have actually wrestled before, which is even crazier. And Caitlin Alexis is just looking for an opportunity to play in the NWA Women's Championship. Very well said. I just learned something, goodness, sister. Always doing your research. We appreciate it. That's why you graduated top of the class over there. Congratulations, goodness, sister. But will we be wishing congratulations to the hula hooping Caitlin Alexis here tonight with a literally tall task ahead of her, Camille? Oh, it is definitely a tall task for the NWA champion who's held the title for over 700 days in the World Cup. You said it, Kimmy. For 700 days, probably currently in the whole world of professional wrestling, one of the current longest reigning champions out there, the very powerful, the very impressive, Camille. Yes, and earlier this year, Camille Brickhouse had openly said on Twitter that she wanted to get booked more. She wanted to face some of the top women in wrestling by doing a lot of more indie bookings, including tonight at Warriors of Wrestling. Gotta respect it. Obviously, we know the lineage of that particular championship, uh, the Thunder Roses of the world. And you gotta respect Camille here for defending this. Oh, where she's going here in Brooklyn on the Independence at Warriors 200, defending it against Caitlin Alexis here. What an opportunity, not only for Caitlin Alexis, but for the fans here in Brooklyn, New York, to see this history making night here at Warriors. And it definitely is historic because there's two women's matches that we're going to see the Warriors of the Wrestling Women's Championship later on defended with Data taking on the Glorious Beauty, who you know very well, Rob. Absolutely, as I call that title, the future Vicky title here at Warriors. But that's a story for another day, as right now we have two powerful women, two very impressive women in the world of pro wrestling. And let's be honest, Kimmy, two very impressive pro wrestlers, as Shane makes the final introduction. For the National Wrestling Alliance World Women's Championship, the man in charge of the sound of the bell, referee Shady Torres. Alexis oozing with confidence here. The crowd is looking to like her. And her opponent, she is playing out of Toro, North Carolina. For over 700 days straight, she is the ring defending National Wrestling Alliance World Women's Champion, the Brick House. What an introduction by the fairest one of all as the Brick House Camille holding her NWA World Women's Championship up high. And she's looking to bring that back home. She doesn't want to give it to Caitlin Alexis. That is her title that she's held for almost two years, I believe, at this point. 
It's wild and very, very well deserved. We've been watching Camille for a long time. Very, very impressive. And just imagine, though, imagine Caitlin Alexis walks out of here tonight. This this historical belt changes hands. I don't even want to say belt championship changes hands here in the Northeast Independence. What a story that would be. Oh, it definitely would be. Like I said earlier, Caitlin Alexis is definitely on the younger side when it comes to professional wrestling. If she gets this win here, it would definitely be an episode. Bell has rung. We are officially underway. And is there any respect here from Caitlin Alexis taking on, uh, you know, the NWA World Women's Champion? I don't know how much respect there is right now. I don't think so. I think she just thinks it's going to be a very easy test for her. A lot of very impressive uh, up and comers. Caitlin Alexis not backing down to Camille. Trump goes for the first strike. Camille ain't having it. Nah, nah, nah. I mean, would you if you were in this situation, Rob? I mean, looks just holding her head and just kind of toying with, with Caitlin here. Well, we talked about the size difference. Camille's like five to six inches taller than Caitlin. The champ asserting her dominance early, locking in that headlock. Very easy, the official checking to see if the shoulders are on the mat. Caitlin up to her knees here, both ladies standing right back down. And that is the power of the brick house, Camille. She definitely wants to keep this match grounded and to her advantage, but, but Caitlin is also very small. She moves very, very quickly, as I'm sure we're gonna see throughout this match. And I said toying with her opponent, a little noogie there for good measure, adding insult to injury here early on in this one. I mean, Sometimes you have to play naughty to get the win, right? Well, as you see, Caitlin pulling the hair. And yep, Camille telling the official, hey, you know, direct traffic here, do your job. Just pull my hair, just back to the hair again. Sometimes cheating gets the job done. I mean, let's have fun with this. Now, yep, stepping on the foot. Looks like Caitlyn's gonna do whatever she needs to do. And, and I hate to say I can't blame her, but it's just a historic match right here. Maybe looking for a hip toss. And Neil once again saying, nah, nah, nah. This is how it's done in a big arm drag from the champ. Every time Caitlyn gets a little bit of momentum, Camille is always there with an answer every single time. Camille. Holding the chant, or I'm sorry, holding the challenger up high. And looks like maybe she's, she's gonna toss her out of the ring, just toying with Caitlyn here. Caitlyn's gotta try to do something if she wants to stay in this matchup for sure. Straight up body slam. And we knew, you know, Camille gonna utilize the power game in this one. Camille taking on some of the best in the world right now, and she is showing her dominance with another big body slam straight up in a cover. But not enough of, as you see Keelan Alexis putting in the fight. Only a two count there. And again, Camille just in full control of this one. I can kind of see, and I'm not I'm not condoning whatsoever, but I can see why Caitlyn's trying to find some shortcuts here and there, but just eating a big splash in the corner. Caitlyn can try to use her quickness, though, to some type of advantage here. I mean, you called a good as sister. Shot to the midsection, using some high flying, but no, just stopped in her tracks. Camille just squeezing the life out of Caitlin after catching her in midair. Definitely using that size advantage there from the champ for over 700. Wow, and look at that standing suplex just holding her up, deadlifting her opponent very easily. And I think Camille's got a little bit of the hair there. Turnabout's fair play. Well, you're always someone who likes to call people out when they're cheating, so I, I'm impressed with you, Rob. Very, very impressed. I'm not, I'm not touching that one, Kimmy. As that being said, Camille in in control, but no! Going for that step-up kick, and now, again, Caitlin regaining some momentum here, but again, going right to the hair. It's always about the hair. When in doubt. After that turnbuckle shot to the head, forehead area of the champion. Now, Caitlin had a plan here, and she's just raking the face of the champion across the ropes. A, a little disrespectful, if you ask me, Kim. I mean, I do agree with you here, but like we've been saying, Caitlin is trying to get some type of advantage, she gets some momentum, and she it's working for her. I mean, it's the most offense she's gone the entire match. And it's some semblance of control here as well. 
but she has to stay. Uh, the likes of Camille, you have to stay on her. You cannot give her this breathing room. I'm telling you right now, Kim. Oh, you can't. We've been watching Camille, like you said, for a really long time, and she knows exactly what she needs to do to retain her championship in these type of matches. And very interesting. Caitlin unable to fully whip uh, the champion into the corner here, but again, getting out of the way, using those turnbuckles as most of her offense, a little, you know, strike and duck strategy here. And now, Caitlin off the ropes, what she looking for here? Bill Barrel, but she got into a DDT and she got to the champ in a bad way. She definitely is. This is the worst we've seen of Camille throughout this matchup, but Caitlin needs to keep this momentum, as you see, only a two count. Caitlin needs to just try to keep Camille down. You need something more powerful than that. You're talking about 700 days, and I know we keep saying it as the NWA World's Women Champion. You're going to need a lot more than that. And it looks like she was trying to outpower Camille. That's not going to do it. Camille putting in that Fire Woman's carry position on Kaylin, who's able to escape here. Yeah, I was going to say, I, don't, I didn't think that was going to work out for her. Big kick, though. Step up kick here by Camille. Both women here regrouping here as Camille. Having this crowd here in Brooklyn, New York, Warriors 200, killing her to get back on the back on her feet and retain here as champion. Will we see it? We need one woman to definitely gain their momentum back. Which one's going to get to their feet first? It looks like it's going to be the champ herself. And I'll be honest, you know, Caitlin coming into this one with a plan, able to take a lot out of Camille. I'm very impressed thus far, but Camille right to the arm using that power, and Camille just might be looking to put it away right here. I mean, oh my God! Been... Just throwing her into that turbo with a big running line. She, she's not happy. She thought this was going to be a quick, quick, easy match, but Caitlyn Alexis has proven herself thus far, and she is not giving up the fight. Well, I think Caitlyn might be done here. Eating that turbo with a big running power slam. That could be it. One, two, and somehow, consider me shocked, Jimmy, kicking out of a power slam by the likes of Camille. I'll give Caitlyn some credit here. She's got some heart. I don't know. Maybe she should have stayed down to live and fight another day, if you ask me. She is definitely looking to go back home with that title, and she will do anything to get it. As you saw, see, she has heart, Rob, and that's what you're all about. People who have heart. Caitlin looking maybe for a running head scissors into a Black Widow type submission, but no, not able to get it. Instead goes for a quick pin. Caitlin able to kick out, kick to the midsection though. What you looking for here? Maybe an X Factor type maneuver and a big running spear by the champ. One, two, three, that's it. And Camille's brain lives off on its NWA Women's Champion. But Rob, you can't take anything away from the young up and comer Caitlin Alexis. Well, hashtag and still. And still, National Wrestling Alliance World Women's Champion, Camille! Could not have said it any better myself. The Ferris wants Shane to bear the announcement, the formal announcement that Camille still over 700 days your NWA Women's World Champion. But as you said, Kimmy, very impressive showing here by Caitlin Alexis. Not coming out with the dub, but able to take a lot out of Camille here, more than I thought. Oh, definitely, 100%. I think Camille just expects this to be a quick one, but this match went a really long time, and I don't think we take anything away from Caitlin Alexis. Absolutely, I don't think Caitlin will be hula hooping anytime soon.